Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a cute mini witch's hat. I have like three mini witch hat sizes for you to choose from. They're really fun and easy to make and they're just, they're fun for Halloween. And like I said, multiple sizes for you to choose from. And of course, there's a free pattern on FleeceFun.com and SVG file too to make it really easy. For this project, you will need the following. A glue gun. A silicone glue pad is really nice to have with projects like this. Black fabric hot glue stick. Stiff felt sheet or craft foam can be an alternative. Ribbon and of course fun items to decorate your hat. Something to trace the pattern like white chalk if you're not using a machine to cut out the pattern. Headband or hair clip. The hair clip works best with the smallest size. And FleeceFun's free PDF pattern or SVG files that are available at FleeceFun.com. I have a link below for you. Hey, a special thanks to Sherbonder for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate it and I've had a lot of fun playing with their different glue guns and glue sticks. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Step one, cut out the mini witch hat. All right, now, if you don't have something to cut it out on, don't panic. I have the pattern in a PDF form for you. You can easily trace it and cut it out. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Decide which size of mini hat you're making. There's a small, medium, and large. Cut out the paper pattern and trace it onto the fabric. Cut out the pattern. You can either use scissors or a Cricut machine using the free SVG files. Now, don't throw out that inside circle. We actually need that, so hold on to it, please. Step two, begin to assemble the cone to the witch hat. All right, now it's time to make the cone three-dimensional. First, we need to start by folding it. There are two lips on each side of the cone. Fold each of them in towards the interior of the cone. Give them a firm crease, pressing with your fingers. Take a moment and see how the cone will fold together. Now, if you notice, I'm actually using these amazing black glue sticks, and I'm telling you, I will never go back because they make it look great. And so you don't have these weird globs that you ha tend to have when you do no sew projects. These are invisible against the black fabric, and I love it. So this is what I'm using. They're by Sherbonder. They're a fabric stick, and they're perfect for this project. Place glue along the folded edge. Press the two sides together using the folds we just made as the seam. Continue to add glue all the way down the cone. Press the seam together. It's okay if you mush the cone a little in this process, we can pop it out later. Straighten out the cone and check the seam. Step three, bring the brim and cone together. Insert the cone into the brim and bring it close to the base of the cone. Close to the edge of the cone of the mini witch hat, add a line of glue all the way around. Gently pull the brim onto the glue and allow it to dry. All right, now we're to the decorating part, which is the fun part. Step four, decorate the mini witch hat. Now the fun part of adding some personality to the hat. I like to glue on ribbon around the base of the brim. Then slowly build items to make the hat. Halloween wreath picks from your local craft store are perfect for this. Now that you have it all decorated, it's time to make it so it's wearable. Step five, add the headband or hair clip to the mini witch hat. Now at this point, there are different options. You can, of course, and this is easiest on the smaller one, you can use a clip on it, but I have to tell you the headband, it's really, really comfortable. And these headbands, you can easily find them at the dollar store in a multi-pack, super cheap and easy to find. And they're very, very comfortable. And they're actually pretty well hidden. You can see you can't really like, See it like popping out of my hair they're easy to kind of hide and move your hair around so really cute easy way to have it so you can wear it remember that inner circle i told you to hold on to now it's time to use it glue the circle to the inside of the headband i like to place the hat off center now glue the sides of the circle that are 90 degrees away from the headband leave the sides that have the headband open so they can flex with the band now your mini witch hat is ready for wearing. For the clip on the small mini hat, glue half of the clip to the inside of the inner circle. Then glue the circle to the inside of the cone. Allow the glue to dry before wearing. 
and that's it. You have this really cute witch's hat. You have different sizes. So for smaller kids or if you just want an itty bitty hat, totally available. I love these. They're so easy to make and especially easy if you can cut them out on your cutting machine too. Super fast. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. If you like this project, I have several more at fleecefun.com that I think you'll enjoy. I have all kinds of costume patterns. I have a full size witch hat pattern. I have all kinds of Halloween decor like you can see behind me, all with free patterns and downloads because yes, that is how I roll. I like to hand out free stuff. It's like trick or treating all year long at Fleece One. Have a great day. And let me know in the comments below what size mini witch hat do you think you would prefer? Small, medium, or large? Which one? I'm wearing the large one for point of reference.